what do you think about the Olympics coming to Chicago? Being from Chicago, I'm a little biased, but I will say this. It's one of the most beautiful, hardworking, um, culturally alive cities in on the planet. I'm just incredibly proud of it. And I think it would be a brilliant host for the 2016 Olympics. What do you think the world is going to enjoy the most about Chicago? Do you think it's the... The, the arts, the culture, the, the, the scene, <laughs> the oh my blackouts. God. I think it's the lack of light. It's interesting that we're on a set and yet we can't get any light. Should we just keep moving till we find light? Yeah. All right, it's Billy Deck. I'm with Jeremy Piven. We're on the set of Entourage. How'd I do today? You did unbelievable. I have about 116 notes I'm going to give to you later. He did amazingly well. It's all about endurance, though. <laughs> Billy put a suit on, was not wearing a hat, and was playing an agent <laughs> for close to five hours. And, and I say this with love and respect, but do not quit your day job. I think I did big things for the show. Let's Definitely. get off that. <laughs> Without you, I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> to be honest with you. I feel horrible. I hope I didn't bring it down. Anyway, all right, Chicago's going to get the Olympics in 2016. That's what I'm thinking. I, I think it would be amazing because, I mean, the thing is, people don't even realize how stunning that city is. Chicago Fire, back in the day, they had all these different architects from all over the world that would come. And so the skyline is incredibly eclectic. The architecture will just blow you away. The restaurants are amazing. Culturally, it just is exploding. They call it the city of neighborhoods for a reason. I mean, it's it's such an eclectic group of people that live in Chicago. So I think anyone that would go there would really feel at home. And then what do you think those that are visiting us will be shocked about most when coming to see Chicago? I think they'll be most shocked at the price of your turkey burger. <laughs> and then once they regroup and say, you know what, let's just play through. I think people really? I, I think people will be blown away. I mean, the thing is, I've, I grew up in Chicago. And like I've seen the skyline from all these different angles, and it's like the city never gets old. Also, like there are so many different arenas that I, I can actually see it happening. It, it wouldn't be like we'd have to completely redo the city. I think it's like it's the kind of place that could really house the Olympics well. You got Wrigley and Soldier Field right there in the city, yeah. you know, and then you got University of Chicago, Loyola. We've got arenas everywhere, and uh, I, I just think it would be incredible. And what do you think about the culture scene? I mean, Piven Theater Workshop's been around for 35 years? Yes, indeed. Wow. You, you know, you got Steppenwolf and the Piven Theater and the Goodman Theater and... And, and Looking Glass. And Looking Glass, indeed. And, and you know, people are like, why do all these people come out of Chicago? Well, there's many different reasons. We all really respect it and work hard. And then also, I think the community supports the theater. So you've got 99-seat theaters, and everyone shows up to see the stuff. So we've been supported for a really long time. So the people will come out. So you'll have people, the you know, all the people that are coming in to see the events, and the athletes themselves will be supported. So I think Chicago is a group of athletic supporters. People don't realize like how much actually came from Chicago. The New York Times did a piece saying that most of their Tony Award winning plays actually came from Chicago. Wow. And I don't think the rest of the country or the world knows that. So I think it'll be a great showcase for Chicago. And when the games actually go on in Chicago, what is uh, the first sport you're going to want to watch? Uh, women's lacrosse will be the first event that I'll be at. Really? Yeah, I think because of the plaid skirts, uh, the aggressive nature of some of the women, <laughs> yeah. the sheer girth. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, second favorite. Second favorite. Uh, <laughs> and more serious and maybe honest. Seriously, you know, I, I love track and field. Um, Usain Bolt will probably still be, you know, getting 116 gold medals. Um, I will probably be a great deal of with Michael Phelps, which is exciting. I don't know, can I say that? Is that okay? I think Usain Bolt will be might be hosting Michael Phelps, you know? Wow. The f of a medication, sweep upon the nation, even Michael Phelps can before he go upon television.